Hey guys, Adam Tanner here from Fitness for Life 365. I'm making my first ever video in my car. Long story. Um, no, I do not live in my car. Um, it's, it's incredibly hot today and I'm so dizzy, so just bear with me on this one. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the temperature is 36 degrees Celsius and that's outside. I'm in a car with the windows rolled down, of course, so you can actually hear me properly because it's a bit loud outside. Hopefully you can see me clearly and better now. Okay. I'm gonna analyze um, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov fight. I know it's long due, but here we go. I just want to take a second to rub it in everyone face that was telling me Conor would not do good on the ground at all, and Khabib would not do good on the feet at all. And as I said, they both would, and they did. Genuinely, Connor defended and gave damage more than anyone that Khabib ever fought. He did a better job even than RDA on the ground, um, especially in the first round. I mean, after that, he kind of faded a little bit. But in the first round, Connor was phenomenal on the ground. That balance, oh, when, when Khabib had his leg and he was just like um, spinning in circles and he kept his balance, that was, that was great. That, and then when Khabib took him down... Connor was still throwing elbows and punches back. It, he did a really great job at defending. Um, and of course, we've seen Khabib hurt him in the second round by landing that punch that knocked him down. Not sure why it did not count as a knockdown, because that was a while back. I, I don't remember if it was or wasn't. But I remember clearly when I saw the fight, that was a knockdown. Um, the, the UFC doesn't list it as a knockdown. Regardless. Connor did cheat. He kept grabbing um, the inside of his gloves, which is, I don't. If you fought before, you would know how annoying and restricting this is. I had someone grab. Um, uh, it's just more than anything. More than it's restricting, it's really annoying. Especially grabbing the shorts and grabbing the fence with your toes. It's just. I don't understand why Connor did that. We, we've always used to praise Connor for always taking it on the chin and, and being a good sport and always being fair in fights and analyzing fights. What was he doing? I do not know. And Khabib had every single right to be frustrated. And, and let's face it, Connor cheated the most in the round that he won. Connor won the, fir the, uh, the third round. No one ever beat Khabib in a round, and let's just leave the T-Bow fight on the side, but genuinely, I have not seen anyone to beat Khabib in a round um, so convincingly like Connor did in, in the third round. Then again, Khabib was standing the whole round. It shows us that he's no match for Connor standing up. Khabib did embarrass Connor. There, there is no doubt about it. However, he did better than most people thought he would do on the ground. And there it goes. There it goes me telling you. The reason why Conor McGregor got tired and fades, it has nothing to do with his cardio. And we've seen it in this fight. He was going very strong. Third round. He was standing in front of Khabib. He wasn't tired. He was going strong. And he could have went till the fifth round if he was, you know, not fighting Khabib. I think the thing with Nate is, look, I go watch that video. I discussed why Conor McGregor gets tired. Uh, I did not really expect him to get that tired, but Khabib does have better cardio than him. It was a really amazing fight. It was really amazing. I would like to see that fight again. And I, once again, I keep saying this. Uh, the only way I see Conor losing is to Khabib. The only way I see Khabib losing is to Conor. And yes, after that fight, I still see Conor having a chance at beating Khabib. He made a lot of mistakes. I just don't understand the cheating. That frustrated me so much. Why are you cheating? Yes, Khabib is way better than you and you couldn't find anything else, but... It's just so unlike what he presented in his previous fights. 
He got beat up by Chad Mendes in the first round. We have not seen any cheering by him. He was getting beat up by Nate in the first and the second fight. We did not see any cheating. Um, anyways, oh, there's something I want to say. And it's, which fight was Dominic Cruz watching? And I like Dominic analysis. I've always said it. Um, if something... I, I disagree with sometimes Joe Rogan with a lot of analysts, with a lot of analysts out there, especially Luke Thomas. I don't know what he thinks. It, this guy probably never fought a day in his life or even practiced. But I always praise two guys, and I would say do not listen to my analysts and go listen to them if they say something different than I do. She always is Faraz Zahabi as number one, and number two is Dominic Cruz. But what on earth was Dominic doing during that fight? Really? He thinks that Connor was trying to tire Khabib out? He was getting beat up, like Joe said. Joe Rogan was, he was getting beat up. There is no way anyone can see this as Connor trying to get Khabib to tire himself out. Look, I, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I, I completely disagree with it, with his analysis on that one. But then again, it was during the fight. He's on the spot. Y you never know. But the second, the second he said it, though, I turned around to the person I was sitting right next to him. I was like, seriously, what fight is he watching? Now, what happened after the fight? I do not want to talk about it. <laughs> Just simple as that. I genuinely do not want to talk about it. It's a great fight. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone did enjoy it. The outcome was really good for, for both fighters. I think it was a fight that really met the expectations. Connor did not stick to his game plan. Probably would have done a lot better if he did. Don't think it would have changed the outcome of the fight. Don't even think if Connor did not shoot in the third round, he would not have won. I think he would have won the third round anyway. He did not just shoot in the third round. I think he was shooting in the fourth and the second as well by grabbing, uh, grabbing the fence with his toes or, or something like that. Honestly, this is just an embarrassing performance. Like, Khabib did embarrass him. Like, honestly, Connor, you went out there. You said all that you said. You cheated in the fight. And you still could not beat him. Anyways, I would like to see this fight again, of course, but not before Khabib fights Ferguson. Or Ferguson has another fight, I guess, and loses it. But, you know, other than that, I really hope to see the rematch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Go back and watch my videos. I have some good advice workout advice you know <sighs> hope you have a good one and i'm gonna die here in the heat so maybe not see you next time because i'm dying <laughs>